Ayar, Saan me the fire, the fire, the fire. I'm gonna go higher and higher and higher. So pass me the fire. Yeah. Whatever, y'all. Yeah. We're over here. Ooh, it's popping over here. We're <sighs> so fucking sticky right now. It's out of hand. Oh, so much weed. We've hit a new level. This is. It's not fully stressful yet, but except for the dry room situation that we had not enough power run to it. So it got a little condensation-y last night, but there's always something, you know, every always. time. You try to prepare for it and get ready, but until it's really full, you don't know how much moisture. And then when it was wet, you know, we picked in the rain last time. Okay. But such a savage harvest session today. Now we got three dry rooms full. We just had to go to the store. What's up y'all? We're in sticky mode harvesting. It's October 13th. Good morning. We're over here on another heady OG section. Yes sir. Colossal. Choppers. Extra sticky gooey. This is our main heady OG cut right here that's going to be dubbed as the, like the heady like for the sales. This is the main heady OG. We called it baby heady for a while. Mine is a space bomb more that we smell it. It's got that baby jesus space bomb kind of turf mixed in with the kush slight watermelon candy yeah if anything it's like people just oh it smells like water like hash with then like watermelon kush it's really nice <clears throat> creamy watermelon cushy super fire super chunky rose another day we're just getting warmed up too lots of weed lots of ganja what's going on with cody dope Chop, chopping. Where you at? Friday the 13th. We out here. Lots of ganja. Yeah, and it's yeah. just the beginning. Literally. Come on. Well, we barely scratched the surface so far. Yeah. And dry rooms are filling. Over and over and over. Ten times this year. Three dry rooms. The rotation. Times. 30 rotations of harvest, let's go. Here we are again. Taking down chunks. This row right here of the Hedy OG, I've been working on the same plant for like almost an hour, it feels like. There's so many buds. This one plant right here, I barely just got into the next plant. And we're just going on a really top crazy mode so many buds still left on these secondaries i mean they look like normal plants in a way you didn't know there was giant tops everywhere this is crazy it's the head is so funny chunk chunk chunks and then boom flattened but the flattening has got so much still in here. And now we get to smoke on the freshies while we pick. 
freshies of what see this one i'm going over to the headies we smoked a couple of those other flavors i'm ready to hit hard on some, some back gas I need some gas for my back back the me. damn it's insane <laughs> so much stuff <laughs> building could it be the one and only Ooh, it's Yay! harvest time <laughs> what up that time man non-stop just got done harvesting up here helping press frozen yeah Love it. <laughs> we're back dude 2023 you. the high turf champions are in the building yes the team the fucking a team right here the crew <laughs> we're looking at washing and squeezing it and washing it and Woo, yummy super the the stick that is is Pretty stick impressive. Ice, <laughs> stick a super frosty, delightful looking buds. We're over here just examining some other final mm. ones before they get picked. Yep. I'm talking about doing a small batch of the headies to see how the gas yields on the extracts with the with the wash and the squash. Gotta find the out what she does. Wash. Her time is coming. Oh, excited. The time of year, man. That's what we look forward to every year. Uh, Harvest sucks, but uh, yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> For sure hard on the back these days. Yeah. As we get older, right? <laughs> yeah. It's getting harder and harder to tackle these fields. Uh, what is this pretty one? This one right here is one of the Hetty OG Finos. Oh, it's a different one than that one. Yep. One. That's okay. the original Hetty. That's the mom right there. Okay. Definitely a lot light greener. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one's kind of a... There we have like five of these mm. Hetty OG winners, and this one's totally different than the rest. More sativa, really light. Really strong too. Oh yeah, they're kind beautiful. of got more of a um, San Fernando Valley almost kind of gas smell when it was dry last year. They all got really nice structure. Not right. a, not a ton of leaf in the in between. Yeah. just solid buds. Yeah, this beautiful. One, this one's really spaced. Uh, yeah, super cool. super strong. I like I like this row a lot. Oh yeah, farm is absolutely immaculate this year. Beautiful. Mm. That's another one of the vapors. Oof. Yeah, this, this row of the vapors is nice. Yeah. This row we harvested already the other day, dude. It was fucking fat, but it's so funny. We harvested a nice amount of weed, and then it's like even with the, I can't even tell. Get some more growth. <laughs> <laughs> Yee! We're over here chopping on the terrace. We got some of the Mendo Minions back in the flesh. 2023, we're harvesting some of it with some of it, crew. It's a very special day. It's a perfect day for harvesting. Perfect. Cloudy, nice and cool. <sighs> Everything's looking real good. We just got our dry room uh, number one. We got three dry rooms now. So dry room number one, actually, we got four dry rooms now. We just expanded. Dry room number one's emptied again. So we're filling it back up. Right now it's a go time. This whole week we got to fill up the dry rooms to the brim. Every single time we fill them, we need maximum compaction to get this garden down because we got a lot to go. This is going fast though. This row came out really good. You know, these were those tiny little plants we put in so little and so late in the year. They ended up just being nice, nice medium size, smaller size plants with just chonkers. 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 Who, who we got in the building. Oh. He did it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yes, cheers. 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 cheers to your cheers. cola. <laughs> cheers to our baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. this terpy girl right here. Yeah, boy. Brought it to life. He wanted to recreate that Samoa of its strain and had the fire to bring with the fire and make the ultimate fire. And no better fellas to mm. do it but the Mendo Dope Boys. Ah, mm. It's about to be hitting the streets hard. About to be blazing yeah. up. Now people can start to enjoy it. You know, it won the highest turf for Ooh. Rosin. Not that many people got to try it. We pretty much smoked all the flour. <laughs> <laughs> now we Down got some coming to you. Little pieces too. Yeah, but it's about to be hitting the streets of Cali. Yeah. Yeah. It's harvest day. Some more love it. Yeah, them stingy fingertips. <laughs> stingy fingertips. <laughs>
Sticky, sticky. That's Rose. Crazy how we clean the bottoms of that side and then it's for frozen. And then yep. this, today we're going to take the tops off of this side and leave the bottoms. We're flip flopping. So we can keep frozen. One more batch frozen. We need one more freezer. Last year we knew this strain was really cool looking to, to, to go to the market, but we only had one plant of it. So now, now she's in full effect. Yeah. She's going to be, you're going to get to smoke this one. It's nice. Came out beautiful. Some very interesting growth on some of these buds. They have weird structure, really just crazy. Nothing but crazy pods and rattlesnake tips on some of them, which, you know, sometimes for trimming is a pain in the ass, but. Huge pain in the ass, but the trimmers are fucking built for this shit. Yep, and for. The trimmers are on point these days. And for small buds that get broken down into baggies. And then when you're talking uh, resin collecting, oh, yeah. doing fresh frozen and stuff, I mean, look. That's where Woo. it comes into the final verdict. Oh God. Apricot bubble so gum. So delightful. Apricot bubble gum deliciousness. Here we go. 2023, it's October 16th. We're deep into Croptober. Keeping it extra sticky. So what? Ooh, some more of it. That's what? Would you look at it? Can't you smell it? No, okay. So, yeah, I don't know exactly. I gotta ask, please. What up? Clippery, clippery. We out here in the top of the terrace. The heady OG vapors. Cody Dope. I be the no till farmer. Look at the fade on these, though. I mean, stunning. They Colorful. Just perps. Colorful ladies. Colorful ladies out here in Croptober, baby. Yee. And you know in the winter we're letting the daikon grow. Mm. It's going it's, hard right now. It's going so hard. <laughs> Sprouting everywhere. <laughs> Let's go. We're out here getting it. We're at the top layer. Top level. Top level of the terrace. We're getting through. It's a lot of buds out here just mowing them down. We got the Samoa of it crew back in here getting extra oh, sticky and clippers. We're back for another round, baby. Yee! Samoa of it. Another year. Filling, filling racks. Filling racks, racks. <laughs> Everything's soaked. Everything's soaked. It's drying off now. We're past, past halfway point. Woo! Let's go see what the dry room Harvest. looks like. Take a look. We're inside dry room A. Guess we're gonna need more of these racks up there. Not in here. Yes, dry room one or A. One A. Dry room one A. We got Project Power some eleven in here. We yeah. got Heady Vapors. Bing bang. We got Heady Vapors. Bing and a bang. Uh, top layer here we're gonna have another the staging dry flowers short racks we got the three in the back shorties here so we can fill up the whole center also so we got room this right here is going to be like two terraces of weed in here it's all some of it besides the fresh frozen and then all of the vapors tops so that's like 160 feet of rows of weed can fit in this one container a lot of fucking tops, a lot of buds. We're averaging about, you know, these are all my metric numbers, like seven, eight, six, seven, eight pounds of plant, some nine. And that's wet weight with the stem, which is like roughly like 10% uh, of that, pretty much. So these are like half pound to one pound plants, pretty much. And we got 40 of them at the top, so we might have like 40 pounds of vapors just from the top row. <laughs> Yeah. Here we go. Uh, yep, dry room. This was the first one to get filled, and the second one now to be refilled. First one to be refilled. Man! Colas, 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 colas. Alright, what's up, everybody? Woo! 
it has been quite a sticky session so far. We're, uh, you know, like midway through Croptober now. It's just been constant picking, picking and filling these dry rooms and trying to get enough space to, to keep this rotation going. We definitely, you know, this is really awesome year because like we said before, you know, this is, this is definitely the most weed we've grown in a season. So it's definitely been a little overwhelming at times. <laughs> So we've had to stay on the ball really savagely. Um, and luckily we have a, a good crew of people here, you know, giving us a hand and helping really uh, make sure we tackle through this. Um, it's been a, a, a little moist out here. You know, we've had a few different rains. Uh, the plants took it really nice. It's been, it's been cool to see the, 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 the phenos that we picked have really uh, shined on their second year up here. And they've proven to us uh, that they really are strong and they can handle this kind of environment up here. They love this climate. Um, just the way we've been growing out here, not a lot of feeding. These strains produce so nice. They're heavy, they're yielders. They have quality. It's uh, extreme resin production going on from all sides of the garden, from the big seed starts to our terrace rows over here on the green flag zone. And then coming up to our, our final secondary greenhouse that we're about to be picking next, um, fire, some Oreos that has a very cool look to it. Very, uh, it's got that eye-catching appeal. Everyone loves that look. And hopefully with this style of no-till living soil growing and what we're, the food that we're using, um, it's gonna have some extremely good flavor. We're and, taking uh, a walk over to the greeny right fucking now. Fucking crazy looking. Ooh, it's been a while since we looked at the greeny with you guys. Oh, yeah, and... we've been talking about it, but we keep uh, being busy and getting Ooh, sidetracked. Oh man. But these are like, we have like five weeks in, Those maybe six weeks in. Nuggies. Chunky Gents. Gents. It's just the frost factory on these For Oreos. For everyone hating on the Oreo smell too, I smell like a little bit of like, Gat, like a Hindu I smell cushy. Oreos and gas, like you said. Yeah, there's a little gas in it too. Like Maybe a little know. creamy, creamy gas. There's a little bit of that, mm. yeah, that Oreo frosting, mm. creamy thing. It's so fucking pretty. I mean, even look, in, look at these up. fan leaves. Right. Dude, They're so curling over on a five, on a seven star leaf. I mean, that's, <laughs> you don't usually see that until up here. You know, one of your big fan leaves just caked down there. I mean, it's like. You don't even want to throw that leaf away. You just want to wash that. <laughs> yeah, no, right? you'd have to almost put it in the back. It's throwing on the stem. It's ridiculous. What's that? Throwing on the stem. Oh, yeah. And exactly. It's, like, it's only if it's like five or so weeks in, like what's the next week or two going to do? You know, it's, it's going to plump up more and thicken plump, up. Plump, plump, plump. They're, they just look done the whole time. They've been Damn, I wish I brought my <laughs> microscope, bro. I wish uh, I had brought I know, it. I forgot to bring Dang mine, it. too. I want to look at these ones. They look so They got some beautiful amazing. kernels going up here. Right, yeah, the homie get... fucking has a winter cut of this one, that's for sure. This is big. It makes it pop even harder with how green the ground is, too. Exactly, like, yeah. This purple shade with the green under is just beautiful. So cool. Even when they're coming through, all crazy. I don't even want to take the bench off right now. I like how it's just wrapping around. It's the... super cool looking. Fuck it, you know? It's clean. It's not like the vetch is dirty. Look how clean it is. Look at me. It's crispy, crispy clean, though. Ooh. Vapor uh, time. Ooh. Vapor time. Oh, God. This rose. Luckily, this row over here got picked because. Yeah, this row. It could was barely. Couldn't even through. fit in here. But now we can actually stand in the middle of this vapor row and see what's going on. Got a lot of buzz to clip, it just keeps on going. Yep, clippity clippity clip. Up here on this section is one of the winter headies. More headies. Yes, this will be dubbed the Vapors for the clubs. <clears throat> Retail stores will be having this here in about a, two months probably. After it dries and cures. Exquisite, super nice. Tested. It's gonna be cool to see the test results on this one. Yeah. Another beautiful looking flower, super stacking. Yeah, more indica dominant hedio G pheno here. Way thicker, a little more leafy, but yeah, chunky buds. It's a mess. And it, you know, this one's this vapor is pre flowered the, on the terrace, and here, I guess, the hardest out of all the strains. So it's got a little more bushy. Came out of it good over here, better than the terrace, but still bushier because of that. Either way, it's very crazy. Some big ones. Clip, clap. Nice. 
not too wide, not too moldy. Solid chunks, easy to work with and trim. There we go. Now we'll just see how the people like it. If anything, you know, we want to grow it again next year because we want to get it to just push through and not have the double bud thing and see what it does without being so clumpy. But ultimately, it's up to you guys if you like smoking it. Yeah. Let's see what happens, what, how it burns. Pretty sure you're going to love it. We, we loved, loved it. it, yeah. Mixed mm. Vapor Rub, Heady OG. All right, so as we continue our harvesting, you know, our, our main goal right now is to be getting through and getting all of our nice tops. We're trying to go through and get our prime pieces, any of the pieces that might want to tend to want to start to mold as uh, every morning now is getting moister and moister. We're coming up here um, and seeing just real oceans of fog. We've been flying around the drone and catching some really cool shots of uh, this climate up here is so interesting and this pocket that we're in in this farm, it's right on the edge of the fog line. So we're not submerged in it all the time. We have certain time, certain days that it does really get fogged out and moist and misty up here. But it's in a really cool location, a perfect little cut in this little valley of hills. And it's been really nice to see just how everything's performing out here. Yeah, it truly is a Garden of Eden out here. It is so green. Even after all the plants get picked from the top view looking down, it's like the greenery is still there 100%. All the cover crop, the vetch and the clover has uh, erupted fully and thrived um, and reseeding and uh, building up the soil out here to the next level. As we're going into next year, it'll be the third year on building some of these areas. Some of this stuff is fresh new starts and they did really good, took right away. Trippy. We over here with the one of the delightful Hedy OG Finos. One of the cleanest out of the out of the headies. Not got as big as buds as some of the others. Very little leaf. Frosty, delightful. It's a big row coming down. Woo! We're here. We're starting to take rows down. We got secondaries down there. We got tops up here. Secondaries there. But the time has come. Petty OG, Cody Dope 671. Look at that tower. Our most sativa dominant Petty OG, you know. What's going on in here? This one right here has been the the tallest pole out of the out of the green flag zone, pretty much, I think. I mean it's on the top of the terrace pretty much, but still this one stood much, above yeah. the whole row and it was just the queen cola, so. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. it's just stacked. <laughs> Not too like crazy thick of a bud, but just straight chunks and just nice meat and even like these side pieces. Yeah, not too thick in a good right way because we just harvested a crazy train that was really fat and had so much fucking mold. This one is very clean, no powder. Each nug just separates so nicely. It just doesn't smush on the stem and make that crater. It doesn't yeah. overpack width, just chunk one bud up and then goes up. One bud then goes up. Fucking beauty. Oh. Hey. Harvest. Harvest is real. It's a lot, but we are moving through and making great progress. It's nice to have the crew out here helping. A lot of hands clipping. It's needed. Yep. At one point we have like, what do we got? Four, like seven or eight people at one point here and there every once in a while. <laughs> Making it possible. We're about to go out of town this weekend again. But... <laughs> so much things to do. Minneapolis, here we come. Damn. Damn. So 
Hey. You do no yeah. bugs. Yeah, no, but they have no Fading out there. perfectly. Perfect fade. Dance. Summer. Summer today. Woo! Hey, OG, coming to a market near you. It's been a really cool, really fun year. It's a trip, you know, this is our decade of dope. This is our 10th year of filming Grow Documentaries. And to get to this point right here, the biggest garden we've ever grown, some of the best genetics that we've ever created, seeing them out here really shine. It's been a wonderful year. Our new album is out worldwide, Planters of the Trees 2. We're still rocking. We're still here standing strong. We ain't going nowhere. Just want to thank everybody again for, for tuning in with us on our Mendo Dope Project Season 2. Decade of dope, 10 years of documenting and showing you how we get down and what we do to, to grow the best cannabis in the world. Mendo Dope style. I'm my blood and I cannot leave it alone. I'm back on the grind, I'm putting in time. A decade of dope. And it stars. Only a few patches left. Woo! Woo! We still picking. Still harvesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Filling up dry fly racks in the nighttime with some. That cola. Cola. Talking about kachowies. Damn. There's a, big one. a lot of big ones in here. And really, and hella it's freaking clean, dude. There is like the tiniest little bit of some old we found no, to get out your light. I gotta in the beginning the more than the end dude. here. Dude, this is a chonker of a bud. So prone to little PM. Yeah, yeah, that's the <laughs> problem. Tiny bit here, <laughs> little bit here and there. But Whoa. it's really a late style, or it's just on the fan leaves, so it's not on the butt at all. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm not going to be doing this train again, but oh, smoking some peanut butter mochi that was growing right here, right next to where we're harvesting the next row. Mochis came down early. <laughs> They're dried and they've been starting to cure now. What are you choking on? Peanut butter mochi. Peanut butter mochi. Oh, uh, well, whatever. What you sticking to? Some more love. Bronte, it runs through my veins and I keep it real to the bone. I'm back on the grind. I'm putting in time. A decade of dope.